his death was my fault. I could have stopped him. I was on the phone with him and he got out of the car because it was working. He got scared and I fucking told him to get back in. The defendant's own words. 17-year-old Michelle Carter, who for weeks badgered, berated her depressed boyfriend, Conrad Roy, 18 years old, into killing himself. And on July 12, 2014, as his truck was filling with carbon monoxide, he was scared. He got out. It was the defendant on the other end of the phone who ordered him back in, then listened for 20 minutes as he cried in pain, took his last breath, and died. SJC 12043, Commonwealth v. Michelle Carter. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Kerr. Why don't you give us a moment? We contend that verbally encouraging someone to commit suicide, no matter how forceful the encouragement, does not constitute a crime in Massachusetts. So the person has a gun and says, I am going to kill myself. Right? And you're saying, yes. good, good, go for it, do it. I don't know. No, no, come on, come on, pull the trigger. Is, does that step over the line? I don't think so. That's still okay. I don't think verbally encouraging someone, I don't think that, I don't think that would be a crime. Wait, 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 I mean, you mean if, if somebody solicits a murder? Oh, if somebody solicits that, we get that all the time. That would be a, because there's an underlying crime. Right, of right. Murder. You see, the, the part of the problem is that Massachusetts doesn't, is one of 11 states that doesn't have a, a statute addressing this, this type of behavior, that encouraging suicide. But we do have an involuntary manslaughter statute, which talks about wanton and reckless conduct resulting in the death, causing the death of someone. And at some point, can verbal action become wanton and reckless if it results in someone's death? The problem is that uh, the death was caused by the victim himself. He's the one who got the generator, who drove to the location, who set it up in the truck, who turned it on, and who got in the truck. So I'm in the truck, and I'm dying, and I just, I have to get out. I get out, and I call my friend, and my friend says, get back in the truck, kill yourself. That's not enough. That's just talk. If she was physically present, and she said, get back in the truck, or I'll put you back in there myself, or uh, here, another example, standing on the edge of a bridge. Jump off that bridge or I will push you. The uh, or I will push you would probably take that over the line, but jump off the bridge would not. It doesn't matter how persistent she is, it doesn't matter how reprehensible we might think her conduct is, it simply isn't a crime and it was not at the time and we can't make it a crime retroactively. Unless there are any further questions, I'll leave the remaining points of the brief. Thank, Thank you. you.